Here we have another trinomial where the a value is not equal to 1. So if I look at my steps, I want to start by factoring out a GCF, greatest common factor. So as I scan my trinomial, I can see that my GCF is 2. So I'm going to complete step 1 here, and I'm going to divide out a 2 from the trinomial. So I'm done with step 1. So I have 2 on the outside, and then my trinomial becomes 3x squared minus x minus 10. Since my a value is 3, I want to use the grouping method, or the ac method. So I want to find the product of a times c, so that's going to be 3 times negative 10, that's negative 30. And I want factors of negative 30 that will add up to negative 1. So 5 and 6 are going to be my choices, but I have to pick the correct sign. I want the 5 to be positive and the 6 to be negative. The reason I want that is because 5 plus negative 6 equals negative 1. And if you look in my trinomial, 3x squared minus x minus 10, my b value is negative 1. So that's why I chose 5 and negative 6. Okay, I'm done with step 2. Now in step 3, I'm going to turn that trinomial into a polynomial with 4 terms. So I still have the 2 on the outside. I still have 3x squared. But the minus 1x, I'm going to rewrite it as negative 6x plus 5x minus 10. Now, you'll notice I did switch the order of my two numbers. You'll notice in my chart, the positive 5 came first and the negative 6 came second. But in my polynomial, look how I switched them. I put minus 6x first and plus 5x second. That's totally fine. You'll hopefully get to the point where you realize sometimes it's better to have them one way and sometimes it's better to switch because you want to group them with the other term where they're going to have a GCF. So when I go to do my factor by grouping, here's what I mean. Notice how now 3x squared and minus 6x, those are together, and they have a GCF of 3. And then I put the 5x with the minus 10, they're going to have a GCF of 5. So it's natural for me to group the 3x squared with the minus 6x because they have a GCF of 3x. So now I'm on to step 4. So I take out the GCF of 3x, and it leaves behind x minus 2. Now, in the other two terms, there's a GCF of 5. So after I take out the GCF of 5, I also have x minus 2. So this is how I know I'm doing the problem right. The binomials match. So let's continue to go through the factor by grouping process. The 3x plus 5 makes one binomial, and then since the x minus 2's matched, the x minus 2 makes up the other binomial. So this is my answer, but of course I want to check. So here's our checking procedure. We're going to multiply the two binomials first. This gives us 3x squared minus 6x plus 5x minus 10. I'm going to combine like terms in the middle. So I have 2 on the outside, and then I have 3x squared minus x minus 10. And then one more step is to distribute the GCF of 2. So I'm going to show it on the left because I'm running out of room. And I wind up with 6x squared minus 2x minus 20. That matches my original problem, so I know that I did the correct factorization.